My name is Luke Valenti, and I'm here to show you how to improve your compile time with one weird trick template metaprogrammers hate. So my template metaprogramming library is complete and ready to use, but it takes a really long time to compile. And I'm looking at the trace, and I see, wow, my <laughs> compile time is all template instantiation. I have to find a type and a tuple with a specific child type field. How do I do this? Well, there is a template find operation creates n templates. Running a find for every element will create n squared templates. Nobody will use this library if it kills their compilation time. <clears throat> I don't know how to make this fast with template metaprogramming, but I remember my logging library can print type names. This one weird trick to perform template metaprogramming with string view and const expert functions. Turn beautiful functional code into an imperative mess. Number one, convert your types, your type names into string views. Step two, convert your tuple into, into a type erased array of string view index and source tuple ID. You got that? Step three, write your own const expert binary shirts to find the matching element and get it from the tuple. Step four, figure out a way better method for solving this problem that doesn't involve this one weird trick. Step five, forget about the problem and go to bed. Wake up the next day and realize this would be great for set operations. Union. Union, you take one set and you add the elements of the other set and you have the unique elements from all of them. Remember, this is set operations on the types in each set. So the result out is also a tuple. <clears throat> How do we implement set union? Well, I don't. I'll just wrap this, the stood set union instead. Here's a comparison with the CIB tuple doing union and HANA set. <clears throat> On the bottom, we have the number of elements going up to 1,000 um, for one of them. Um, on the y-axis, we have compilation time in seconds. Um, why did I only test 200 elements for HANA? <laughs> well, this is the extrapolated amount for if I did go all the way up to 1,000. It's a, you know, kind of n, n to the power of 3. Um, and it would take six hours. That's not the real reason, though. The real reason is because as it was running, it was using more and more memory. <laughs> And it ended up using more than 51 gigs, and I had to kill it. That was at 400 elements. And they use all the memory. The sib tuple set operations never use more than 200 megabytes. Intersection. You have one uh, set and another set, and you find all the elements that are unique, um, that are in both of those. Again, we have the same story here. The CIB tuple is basically linear, while the HANA set looks um, polynomial. <coughs> Should my laptop be in a blanket while I'm doing this benchmarking? Probably not. <laughs> Did this cause HANA to use over 50 gigs? Nope. <laughs> was the laptop hot? Yes, it was. Set difference. You have one set, and you remove the items from the other set. Again, we have polynomial time for uh, HANA set and basically linear time for the, the CIB tuple. That's 1,000 elements that we're going up to. That's a race car. I don't know why. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if we zoom into the set difference, you might be wondering, well, is this really slow when we have more practical uh, set sizes? And the answer is no. It's still fast all the way down to you know, 10 or even one element. And that's up to 100 elements here. Um, my CPU, surprisingly, is not thermal throttling. This is a happy CPU. It's got lots of gigahertz. We're good. Uh, symmetric difference. So we find the elements that are unique in both of the, both of the sets, the elements that they don't share. Same story. Um, we have uh, exponential run or polynomial runtime on HANA set and linear on the tuple. So the conclusion is template metaprogramming can be unusably slow. Converting type problems into const expert problems may deliver massive speed ups. Don't be afraid to try crazy things. It might just work. And make sure that your laptop is on a flat, hard surface when benchmarking. <laughs> don't use your laptop for benchmarking. Um, and slides work much better for lightning talks. Look for the CIB tuple and set operations on GitHub soon. That's the pull request they'll be in. They're not there yet. Um, thank you, everybody.